Um, can I say no? <laughs> I don't have a guitar. Without a guitar, I can't. I can't sing or sing. <laughs> thank you, but thanks for uh, it was good fun. See, when I did that show, it was supposed to be live, and I uh, and, and I went to play it, and I played the first couple of chords, and then I went to sing, and I couldn't remember the first word. <laughs> I couldn't remember how it started. I had to just stop. It didn't go well. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um. So, Sean Bean didn't die in Troy or Ronan. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Sean Bean fan club. <laughs> Sean Bean didn't die fan club. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, uh, what is your favourite Sean Bean death? <laughs> Definitely Lord of Rings. I honestly, I cried reading that scene before I even saw it. And I had to, I called up Pete Jackson and told him because it, nothing kind of that I read brings me to tears in the script really, and I cried reading that scene. So when I saw how those guys played, it was so beautiful. I loved it. I thought that was just one of the real moments in Lord of the Rings. So wonderful. These, you know, and if it, in a bad production, those guys would have been so two-dimensional. But to be able to kind of show that emotion, but yet they're the sort of heroes, the real men, to be able to kind of... God, I'm filling up just now, thank you. Captain, my king, Paul. <laughs> oh, what a time. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I need a gin to steady my nerves. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Hello. Um, I'm just wondering, um, when you wrote the melody to The Edge of Night for Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. did Peter Jackson ask you to do that, or did you do that on your own? No, he, he did. That. This is the song in the third movie, when I'm uh, with Denethorn, he asked me, can you sing Master Hobbit? And, uh, yeah, uh, what happened was, they, they wanted a song, and they asked if I would sing in it, and I said, yeah, I'd love to. And Howard Shore was supposed to write it, but they changed the schedule, so we were filming it in like a few days, and uh, you didn't look like that when you went out. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an older gentleman in a green jacket, <laughs> I came back as a joker. <laughs> Weird. This is a weird room we're in, I love it. <laughs> it's like the TARDIS is tiny outside. <laughs> That's good, you get a tear just for seeing TARDIS. <laughs> um, yeah, so we changed the schedule and then they said, well, could you write something? Because they knew that I wrote music. And uh, so I wrote a couple of melodies that I thought were kind of Celtic and, and, and sort of suited the Tooks, you know, the, the, the family of hobbits. And uh, I went and I played it at uh, Pete's house with Philip and Fran, and we all decided on that one tune, and then we, we recorded <coughs> it in a few days, you know, afterwards. It was, uh, yeah, it was a real, one of the real kind of pleasures of doing that was being able to do that. Yeah. It was lovely. Now, uh, will you say no to entertaining us with that song? <laughs> <laughs> No, and normally if you say no once, that's not where it is. So maybe I should because you've asked twice. I've got a really strange feeling I'm going to forget it. I have the lyrics on my phone. I think that's right. <laughs> I'm sure most of the people in here know it. Right, so along. please sing along. Because yeah. if I forget yeah. it, I'll be so embarrassed. There's a lot of people in here. <laughs> right, here we go, right? Can you say Master Robert? <laughs> <laughs> right. Home is behind the world ahead, and there are many paths to tread through shadow to the edge of night until the stars are all alive. Mist and shadow, cloud. 